I was in the middle of another huge breakthrough with the new game. How's it looking? It's the future of gaming. Notable futurist Ray Kurzweil has stated that, quote, games are the harbinger of everything, unquote, and we couldn't be more excited to see what's in store. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we're looking at the most interesting facts regarding the future of the video game industry. Now, as always, we're going to be as factual as we can be, but you'll have to cut us a little bit of slack on the definition of a fact on this one, as we are taking a speculative look at what we think is a really cool topic. Imagine going for a jog in Skyrim every morning. I would lose a lot of weight and burn a lot of calories if I had this in my house. Number five, expect more physical crossovers for children and for adults. You better do something quick. I think you'll need to do a little more than that. It's no surprise to learn that mobile video games are quickly rising in popularity. According to researchers from Nickelodeon, 34% of children under the age of 11 have their own tablet, and this technological ubiquity allows children's entertainment to seamlessly transition from the digital to the real world. We've seen physical crossovers already, such as Skylanders and Nintendo's Amiibo figures. Nintendo recently greenlit Nintendo-themed amusement parks, and there are already Angry Birds activity parks around the world. Fans of Angry Birds can now play the game for real as the first activity park opens outside of Finland in the UK. Today, children expect a 360-degree experience. And increasingly, adults like their favorite games to become a lifestyle. So we can expect more and more immersive, cross-platform experiences as these kids grow up. Number four, watching games will soon be more popular than playing them. I'm gonna perform surgery on you. I don't care what you say in return. I'm gonna do it, so let's get to it. With the advent of YouTube, video games have never been the same, as Let's Play videos have become extraordinarily popular in recent years. Twitch reports 120 million active viewers a month, and most of us can probably name at least a couple of celebrity Let's Players. Hey, how's it going for us? My name's Pudipa. Developers realize this and many, many recent games are geared towards spectating and social interaction. This, combined with the fact that the popularity of esports across the world is quickly growing, is leading some industry analysts to predict that there will soon be more people watching games than playing them. They will be the season three world champions here at the Staples Center. So we can expect that games themselves will have more recording and publishing features built into them, so that players won't have to leave the game experience to create a Let's Play or tutorial video. Oh! Oh, oh, damn! And Jack takes him out. Damn. Number three, gaming devices will integrate in the cloud. Consumers prefer those physical bundles because they know that that disc has value in the trade-in program at GameStop. Analysts have been pointing out for years now that people are buying fewer consoles. We're seeing more backwards compatibility on console titles and cross-platform compatibility on smartphones. Physical discs for games are pretty much obsolete thanks to digital distribution services like Steam, and services like GeForce Now use cloud computing to stream games directly, rendering a gaming PC or console superfluous. With Sony's PlayStation Now, for instance, all you need is a high-end TV and a DualShock controller. Now taken all together, this could all mean that we'll someday be able to buy a AAA game, play it on TV at home, your tablet on the bus, Stream it to your friend's PC at his house using your smartphones as controllers. All your games, everywhere, all the time, with minimal hardware. This virtual controller is emulating the Xbox 360 controller, but it's missing several important buttons, especially left bumper, right bumper, and start. Number two, gaming will rival or even overtake Hollywood. We only have to stand in line for two hours. PS4. You've probably heard that before, in the West, the video game industry grosses many billions of dollars more than the movie industry. This is only true if you account for hardware and peripheral sales, though. If you compare money spent only on game content to American movie industry revenues including box office, Blu-ray, digital downloads, etc., then the movie industry made nearly double what video games did in 2014. Every time we've unveiled a new attraction, attendance has spiked. So while it's very hard to do an apples-to-apples -apples comparison of the two industries, what seems certain to us is this. Video games are being consumed more and more, leading to them taking a bigger role in popular culture. And that's really what we should expect. Video games will rival the movie industry as the pinnacle of popular culture. By and large, everyone watches movies. And in the future, we'll be able to say the same thing about video gaming. All right, kid. 
Let's go do it. One last time. Number one, virtual reality will soon be a part of everyday gaming. Oh, God damn it! Go away! That isn't to say that you won't ever watch another Whoa! movie again. Whether you like the concept or not, virtual reality is on the way. By the end of 2016, the HTC Vive, the Oculus Rift, and the PlayStation VR should all be on the market. And companies like Microsoft and Ubisoft are experimenting with their own VR concepts and technologies. From a business point of view, it's the exciting new technology that everyone wants to invest in. Being able to see a virtual version of the interior of the car while actually being in the car was surprisingly cool. The fact that VR could take gaming out of a 2D display has the potential to revolutionize the way games are designed. Just as the Wiimote did, or was supposed to. All I do is throw that ball up in the air, and when I, oh, jeez. Okay, that may or may not be a fair comparison. Creators are already finding thought-provoking ways to exploit the potential of virtual reality. It's not a video game peripheral. It connects humans to other humans in a profound way that I've never seen before in any other form of media. And it can change people's perception of each other. So, what do you think about the future of gaming? Well, it was... It was fun while it lasted, I suppose. Do you think virtual reality will take off or fizzle out? For more futuristic top 10s and virtually real top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Unfortunately, talking about virtual reality is like dancing about architecture. <laughs> and this is actually someone dancing about architecture in virtual reality. <laughs>